welcome back to Gaming with MMOs and Popular Gen, your ultimate summer fan base for the YouTube channels, Popular MMOs and Gaming with Gen. I am your host Nolan, and this week is Redstone Week, where I will show you Impact, everything about Redstone does. No offense to Pat, but I think he needs a little help with it. And he got lucky when he did that clock and like this many ways to die you know that that map he got lucky but that wasn't like a permanent clock he kept having to place the torch down but today I mean, but this week i'm going to help today i'm going to show you all the reds i mean all of like parts that can be like associated with I me mean, sorry i'm going to show redstone itself redstone parts and parts me and like blocks that could be associated with redstone. Alright. Let's get started. Wait, wait, wait a second. All right, let's get started. So first of all, okay, first we're going to do this in categories. First categories, and first categories, what is wire? This is a redstone wire, or also known as just plain redstone. You get it from. Wait one second. Um. Hold on one second. Um. Uh, here we go. You get it from mining redstone ore, and when you touch redstone ore, it creates a light source. I think, wait, no, you had to stay on top of it. Yeah, see? Creates like a, a low, I mean, a low light source. Right, and that's about all with wires. Now I'm moving to redstone cup, com <laughs> components. I mean, parts, not components, parts. Wait, no, no, no. No, not parts yet. We're actually going to move on to power sources. Yes. Power sources. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, uh, here we go. Okay, we got that. We got that. We got that. No oh, way. Alright, first of all, we have the redstone block. Wait. Which, like all power sources, can power up to at least 15... We power up to 15... Like, blocks of redstone. I, of course, wait, let me show this. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Get rid of this. Fifteen. Yeah, then the. And then the power just quit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, so here's 15 right here. Every Any power source only powers up to 15 blocks of redstone, and then it dies out. And yeah, then the power signal's lost. It doesn't, you know, like, make anything else work. I wish you could do it for more blocks. All right, let's get started because I don't have that much time. This is a daylight sensor. Like a solar panel in real life, it detects light. It actually detects sunlight. 
and it emits up to 15 blocks of redstone as I show with the redstone block. See, it will start to do that because the sun's coming up. See, it will start to increase. It starts more light. It gets it will start to increase. Although when you click on it, it turns into a nighttime center. And it does the complete opposite. When it gets darker, it will get lighter. See, it's like dawn, so it's like so powered, but it's not going to be powerful long. All right, now we have stone pressure plate. Wait, no, no. I should actually show the wooden pressure plate. Any, anything that goes onto this block, even like an item or something, it presses it down. It emits fifteen. Admits 15 admits 15 blocks of redstone power until the thing or yourself or a mob is off of it. Now a stone pressure play is actually different. It will only work with mobs and you, not items. You see look, when I drop it on drop it on there, it doesn't click because it doesn't work. Why can't I pick it? I'm sorry, my game is... The PlayStation 3 I have makes Minecraft a bit glitchy. If you won't believe. Alright, I also need to show you some other press plays. One's made from iron, which is this, and one's made from gold, which is this. A lot of stuff has to be on this, even... Like, like two stack. I don't know, like about two stacks of... About, I don't know, 10 stacks of 64 just to get to, just to get it to like 15 blocks of redstone power. Ooh, sorry, it's auto-saving. It does that. It helps me not, you know, get, not delete my stuff. And this one, is just the simplest thing that goes on, it will emit 15 redstone power. 15 blocks of redstone power. Oops, I accidentally got through the block. Uh, oh well, no matter. I'm gonna get good at this. Oh, got a diamond sword, yay! <laughs> right. I'm actually gonna have to get a string for this. I mean, a blo block. This is that's the way it works. This is called tripwire hook. When you place a string between two of them. Had to be at least one block apart. At least two of them. Between the b two of them. Between the two of them. Between the. Oh. They're now a block apart. That's why. I'm really sorry about that. <sighs> okay. Now this is gonna work. Okay. Yeah, so when you walk, that's it. As long as you're on the string, you'll emit 15 blocks of power. When you're off it, it goes off. See? Alright. Now to the really s simple stuff. This is a button. Oh, wait, let me place it on this. Oh, the string. This is a button. When you press it, it will emit 15 blocks of redstone, but then it will go off in half of a tick. Now, a tick is actually 1 20th of a second, so that means half a tick would be 1 40th of a second. That means when I press this, It'll stay on for one fortieth of a second. Now, of course, mine this this Minecraft is glitched out, so apparently lasts longer. But if Minecraft, if this like Minecraft on PS3 wasn't so glitchy, glitched out, it would last for a half of a tick. <sighs> All right, this is the lever. This is one of the only toggable. It's one of the only toggable power sources 
that me that's in Minecraft. Me that that you that you don't have to like connect with any other like redstone tools. You know. Toggle means you can turn it on and leave it on, or you can turn it off and leave it off. Not having to do like a bunch of do a bunch of crazy things with it. And it emits 15 blocks of redstone power. Oh, let me see. Are there any other power tools? No, that's it. Well, I do have one more, but I shall get to that later. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Here we go. Alright, so I just need to get all of this stuff. It's going to take a while. Oh, I might have to actually go back. Oh my gosh, I forgot a redstone power source. This is called trap chest. It's different because it has this darker area around it. When you open it, it will emit 15 blocks of redstone power. Very useful in traps. Alright, now getting down to the good stuff. There are actually more redstone parts that I'll show later in the video. Oh, I'm not doing it. It is a dispenser. When, when it's turned on and then off. Wait, no. When it's off and then it's turned on, it will emit one item that's placed in it. If that item can be, you know, thrown or done something with it, it will actually do it for you. You don't have to do it by hand. For example, you put a, like a splash potion in it, and you turned it on, it will throw the splash potion in it and it will break. It's like you would do with your hands in Minecraft. But that's very useful. This is a dropper. If you were you to press, no, if you were to just drop, to drop an iron on the ground, that's exactly what this does. It, it does it for you. Okay, we have the note block. Just like the dispenser, it will only do something when it's turned on once. They do something once when it's turned off, on, so you have to turn it off and then turn it on again. This is a note block. It makes music, and depending on which block is under it, it will make a different sound. For example, I'm putting this down there. Right, so that's what we make. Huh. That's strange, it's not... See, look, now it's different, since I placed another block on it. Very useful, and mus if you're one of those guys who likes to create music in Minecraft, this is very useful. Recommend using buttons with it. Right. One of the most useful redstone tools I can... I mean, one most handy redstone tools I can think of is the piston. When activated, it can move any, I mean, it can move up to 12 blocks, but when it turns off, it will not grab it. And that's what the sticky piston is for. Move it to 12 blocks, and when it turns off, it will only grab one block because it's connected to the sticky part. And you can also, this is, these are very useful with slime block robots. Which I'll have to speak of, which I'll have to show that later. Okay, I'm gonna test this out. Out like way out somewhere. I'm trying to find a good place to do this. Alright. This is TNT. Just like it's based off of real life TNT. Only it will only ignite if you like I mean, if you ignite it with flint and seal, or with the redstone signal. See, see here it goes. Better get away. As I said before, this game is incredibly glitched. And see? Boom. It explodes, just like real TNT. Alright, 
Perfect. Okay, this is the redstone lamp. It it is a light source that's on, that can only be powered by redstone, as you can see. And when the redstone signal is gone, it turns off. Simple as that. Right, so let me get some more stuff now. Right. This is the redstone torch. It, it is a power. Is it can be two things. It can be a power source that emits up to 15 blocks of redstone power, as you would guess. <laughs> and if you place on a if it's powered by a redstone signal when it's placed on a block not like by itself or else it'll just keep emitting power but place on a block and you like drive the redstone wire into that block and powers the block it will turn off turning off the current in front of it when that current behind that block with the redstone torches on is turned off will automatically turn back on powering power rank power rank this right here oh i'm gonna have to make the, this video a little extended because now it's over 27 minutes sorry about this guys okay so that that's called an inverter because it does the opposite when you power it that's, i think that's what an invert means to do the opposite Anyway, guys, I'm going to have like a part two of this day of redstone parts because because I obviously run out of time. And so I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, by the way, happy July 4th, guys. Happy July 4th. Bye.